Hello and welcome at VFX Geek. Some time ago I've prepared a video showcasing common software used in professional VFX and animation studios. Undeniably those programs have proven their strength and usability with thousands of movies and TV series where it was used for VFX creation. That comes however with a price, reaching several thousands of dollars for a single license. So this time I wanted to present free software which is capable of delivering professional VFX. And yes, there's going to be a lot of Blender here, but you're going to find many more useful and free tools in this video. Let's go! For the purpose of this video, I'm going to divide it into sections and two parts. In this part, I'd like to focus on creation software. And in the second part, I'll be presenting tools supporting production management and pipeline. While creating this list, I was choosing software complying with three main requirements. First, to be free of course. Second, to have a history of usage in high quality projects. And third, to be available on Linux. Some of you might think, why is Linux support important, as most people use Windows? Well, I'm using Ubuntu Linux in my home studio, so consequently I need software that runs on Linux. Also, you might not know, but most VFX houses also work on Linux, with CentOS being the most popular distribution. So for creation software, I've divided it into those categories modeling, shading and animation, FX simulations, compositing and rotoscopy, matte painting and 2D animation, and editing. Modeling, shading and 3D animation. We are not going to have much choice here. Blender is definitely the most professional and free 3D software available. Modeling and shading is only a part of its capabilities, as it's a very powerful multi-tool. Recently, Blender Development Fund has reached almost $100,000 of monthly donations from its users and more importantly from companies like Epic, AMD, Nvidia, Ubisoft, Google and many others. This allows to really speed up and enhance the development of this 3D package. Blender has been successfully used in many productions. I have been presenting some of them in one of my previous videos. Check it out if you're interested. Mainstream VFX studios are getting more interested in adopting Blender into its pipelines. Some time ago Framestore informed that it's teaching their artists how to use it. This software features all necessary functions that can be found in any professional 3D application and many unique functions unseen even in the most expensive alternatives, like the real-time render engine for example. Blender covers all aspects of 3D creation, from modeling to animation and rendering. Make Human is one more tool in this category. It is a free software for creating 3D humanoid characters. It is particularly useful together with Blender as you can easily create a character of custom shapes and sizes in Make Human and export it together with an animation rig to Blender. FX Simulations Blender is also great when it comes to creating FX and physics simulations, starting with particles and continuing with advanced rigid body physics and destruction fire, smoke, water or cloth simulation. In recent version, Blender can import open VDB file format, which allows to bring in FX created with Houdini for example. While working at Pixamondo, I've used Blender for several shots on shows like Carnival Row or Iron Sky The Coming Race, mainly for some small simulations which I needed quickly for compositing.
Compositing and Rotoscopy. In this category, we'll have a bit more choice. Starting with Blackmagic Fusion, which recently has been integrated into DaVinci Resolve. Fusion is a node-based compositing software offering powerful creation possibilities in compositing, rotoscopy, particle simulations and more. Although this is a commercial software, a free version is available with some limitations. For example, you won't find the 3D camera tracker in the free version. The Resolve package is also a bit demanding when it comes to computing power, so you'll need a quite strong computer for it. Natron is another free software for compositing. It's almost a perfect clone of industry standard Foundry Nuke. Of course it doesn't have all of Nuke's features, but still offering a wide range of tools for 2D compositing. Unfortunately, since a while, Natron development has slowed down, so you might find it buggy. And now, back to Blender. Yes, you can do compositing with it as well. It has wide range of tools for basic operations, rotoscopy or keying. It's an interesting option for quick compositing of your 3D scenes. For more advanced work, I personally find it too slow and not the most comfortable to work with. If you have seen Next Gen, the Netflix animated feature film, it has not only been animated and rendered in Blender, but also composited with it. So it is possible to do compositing of a big professional production with Blender. The last application in this category is Foundry Nuke. Now this is a commercial software, however offering a version for non-commercial and educational work. Although the free version has a lot of limitations, it still remains most powerful. So if you're working on your personal projects, I strongly recommend it, as that's the compositing software of all mainstream VFX houses. Matte Painting and 2D Animation Krita is an open source digital painting program which you can use to create concept art, illustrations, textures and matte paintings. It is focused on painting, but you can also do photo manipulation with Krita. Availability on all platforms, Linux, Windows and Mac, and OCIO color management are two really big things which, in my opinion, put Krita even above Photoshop. The user interface and keyboard shortcuts are often very similar to Photoshop, so it's not that hard to switch. Aside from static images, Krita also allows to create a frame-by-frame -frame raster animations. Synfig is a 2D vector graphics keyframe animation program. It offers advanced features like bone system, layers or vector tweening. Synfig is free, actively developed and available on all platforms. Blender. Although Blender's main field is 3D, it has a great feature called Grease Pencil, which allows to draw 2D images in 3D space and animate them. That unique option makes it possible to have 3D moving camera filming the drawings, which gives you automatic parallax between elements. You can also combine 2D drawings with 3D elements or have the pencil draw on 3D geometry surface. As for matte paintings, you can easily set up a 2.5D projection in Blender to add depth and camera movement to static images. Editing DaVinci Resolve is one of the most popular editing programs, as it offers a free version. Although missing few options of the paid version, it's still one of the most advanced editing and color grading software. It has been used on a number of professional big-budget productions. But if you want a truly free and open source editing software, KDE and Live should be your choice. 
It's part of KDE project and being actively developed. It offers impressive amount of tools and functionality considering that you don't have to pay a thing for it. That's the software that I'm using to edit my YouTube videos. And that's it for this part of the video. That's my choice of free creative software that you can use for VFX production. If you know of any other useful programs, definitely let us know in the comments, please. And don't forget to support your favorite ones with donations, as most of this software is completely free, you can show some appreciations for the developer's work. Don't forget to come back for the second part, there I will be presenting tools for building a production pipeline. Thank you for now and don't forget to subscribe!